as you can see right now neither one of this macro inverter they pulling any amount of the current the reason is we disconnect our dump low and that it caused the voltage of the battery past the 28 get to the 30 it shift the frequency and that caused the inverter to goes off the inverter will not gonna come up this is the the feature that they build inside this macro inverter, great tie inverter. They go there for five minutes. They check in the frequency, they check in the voltages. If the frequency and voltage they both are correct, then they're gonna come out. So it's gonna take five minutes to come in back on. So I'm gonna go ahead and check the frequency to make sure the frequency that I do have is correct. Yes. The frequency is almost 60 Hz, it's 59.9 Hz right there. And the voltages, let's just take a look at the voltages. Let's see if we can see the voltages on this. It's 246 volts. So they have a correct voltage and they have a correct frequency. They should come on not later than five minutes. It's, it's pretty much pretty, I, I tried it many times, it's right on five. As you can see right now, the current on these, they are jumping all over the place. That it shows the voltages that are moving so much up and down. That is not causing the inverter to go, this great tie inverter to go off. It just, for instance, they shutting them off and turning them on. That is going to be okay. We don't want to shut them off completely. Because when you shut them off completely due to the frequency change, they are going to go and they stay off for five minutes. Now let's just take a look at the frequency right now and see what is the frequency that is reading. It's reading the frequency of the 59.9. I'm just going to get rid of all of my load with disconnecting this. Now the load doesn't... Look at the frequency 60.6. 60.6. That is causing the macro inverter to go off. If you take a look at the macro inverter, the both are off. That is in the case if something happened to your load, dump load, or you have one of the light bulb goes up, or the voltage raised too much, this inverter automatically shutting your macro inverter off. If I take a look at the frequency, the voltage as it says is 26.2. It's supposed to be still, not, okay, it changed and go back to the 60 because it dropped below 26 volt for a split second. So the level that I set them up was 28. When you get to the 30 volt, it shift the frequency, shut the, all of the macro inverter off. It will not bring the frequency back to the 60 hertz till it get to the 26 volt. When you get to the 26 volt, again, the frequency is gonna be 60 hertz. So we gotta wait another five minutes and then again, the macro inverter, they will gonna come on. And then I'm just gonna put the dump uh, load back again in the shape that it was. And then start dumping the load as it used to. Okay, okay. I just want to remind you again, this setup that I do have right in here, the dump load is the real dump load that I'm gonna use in a real life. But the batteries are not. This is just for experiment. These batteries, it cannot give me so much current. I wanna use a real battery that each one is gonna be two battery and each battery is gonna give me 150, 130 amp in that's 130 to 150 amp current minimum two battery this is uh, again i just want to remind you guys this is not going to be the battery that i'm going to connect them and try to bring up 30 uh, macro inverter uh, currently i have 28 but eventually they're going to be 32 because i'm going to add those, those four four macro inverter too again i add something to this inverter this quick disconnect that is going to be i, I will going to use much thicker wire right in here that it can handle 100 amp, probably this wire can just handle about 20 amp to 25 amp, 30 amp. This is the gauge 10. I'm gonna use probably gauge six or maybe four for the real battery. And uh, one more thing that I wanna remind you all, the same thing that I was thinking about, the why we don't use a generator to bring the uh, great tie inverter on or the regular inverter. You cannot, if you turn, you, you connect your generator to the inverter and you're bringing them up, the minute that the inverter coming on and they're putting the power on because they are working on the 
MPPT, that is maximum power point transfer. They're going to put so much power out, is nowhere to go, is going to go to your generator and destroy it, your generator for the launch. Do not connect your generator to bring in the uh, great tie inverter out. Do not use the regular inverter to bring your macro inverter out. In case if you find even the uh, good uh, inverter, uh, first of all, this is not the only company that is making the inverter that you want to use. Uh, the SMA make inverter, uh, Another company was Xantrax. Xantrax make the inverter too. I prefer to go with this one because the cost and the size that it had was the right size for me. I pick up the Magnum and it's doing a good job for me. So the only thing that I bought from the Magnum was this controller and the inverter. I add this to this connect battery to it. I add this dump load. I'm using this connector, this quick connector right in here. The 30 amp, I just connect them up and disconnect them. The same way I will gonna use the another connector right in here because I'm not gonna install this thing permanently. I will gonna put this one inside the, the top of the cart that I do have right in here. I'm gonna connect this one uh, to the inverter right in here and then plug this thing to the uh, fuse, the breaker that is gonna be connected to my sub panel. What about we just go to the sub panel right now and explain how the sub panel will gonna work? Okay, this is the sub panel. As it shows in the top, I do have a voltmeter and amp meter. This is shows the voltage that the macro inverter they are putting up right now. What time is it? It's almost 12:30. There are 240 volts, almost 16 amp they are putting out. I make this board some sort of the interlock with this little slug right in here and i explain to you how this thing is going to work i do have a fuse in this side that is 60 amp a breaker in this side as a 60 amp and breaker in this side as a 30 amp this breaker is connected to this little plug that is right in here so after i connect this one to my inverter i put up my inverter i bring them right in here and i plug them in right in here if I turn this unit out, this is slug is pushing and disconnecting the grid. This is the power that it come from the grid and it powering all of these fuses. All these fuses is mainly for all, they are one thing. The one that you see is 240. This is coming from the macro inverter. This is the 30 amp fuses for the macro inverter. Every single one of these is a 110 volt that it goes inside mainly for lighting, for dishwasher, for washer, for TV, for uh, uh, what is microwave. It's no 240 power supply right in here. That is the main power. So this little slot, if I turn my 30 amp uh, breaker on is shutting off the 60 amp. This 60 amp is coming from the grid and it's powering this. The minute that I turn them on, it's going to get the juice from here. Since the solar panel in any case, am I using the grid or am I using the inverter output, they are going to be in a line. If it's using the grid, five minutes later it's going to come on. If I'm using the uh, in macro inverter is looking at the supply when they have seen the correct voltage and current uh, correct voltage and frequency they're going to come out and the system is going to work so i'm going to bring the cards right in here this is connected to my inverter i'm going to plug on me i switch this thing on it's causing the pushing this switch to be off the, these are interlocked they can be off both at the same time but they cannot be on at the same time so it's going to give a power to the all of these branches then i can use them again you have to be for a while watch how much power you're using you because in the morning early in the morning you are generating about one or two amp by noon time you're generating about right now you're generating 17 and a half you're generating about 13 14 amp and you multiply those together it's going to give the, the total wattage that you're going to use 